All right, today, boys and girls, we are going to be doing our origami houses. And you're gonna start off needing three regular sheets of printer paper. So, uno, dos, tres. Now, the first two papers, so I'm gonna put one over to the side. The first two, you are going to do the same thing to them. You're gonna take your paper and you are going to fold it hamburger style making sure that I have my hand on the open part from the crease, going karate chop to the top to the bottom. When I'm done with that step, you're gonna take it and fold it hot dog. So I'm gonna take, line up those corners. The more you take your time lining your corners up and making sure you have strong creases, the stronger your house shall be. So I'm taking my time to really line those corners up. Open part to the fold, karate chop to the top, to the bottom. So I have one more fold I need to do. Hot dog, long and skinny, corner, corner, then crease, crease. So you can see I have my middle fold and uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four on that side. I'm gonna take this and just set it gently over to the side so that I can do the same thing with my next paper. Fold it hamburger, line it up, corner, corner. Take that time to make those nice firm creases. Now, I have that, what do I have to do? Open it up. Fold it the other way into hot dog zone. Corner to corner. Now we're having fun. Okay. Make that nice firm crease. And then I need to do it again. So I have one fourth when I open it up. All right. Crease, crease. Open up my paper. So I have two identical papers that look like this. Now, we are going to have them come to life and look a little bit more like so. This is going to happen by, let's put this aside so we're not getting confused. We're gonna take our paper now this way, and this is, it's hard to see, sorry, I'll adjust. This is vertical, not horizontal. So when you take your corners, you're going to take the one edge and line it right to the halfway point. Keep your finger there and remember, the better our creases are, the better our foundation for the house. So I have one fold. I'm going to do the same to this side. And then what do I need to do now? Flip it around, do the same to the bottom side. So I'm going to take Middle, middle, take my finger, crease. Take my other, line it up, crease. So I have this interesting like diamond shape. When I fold it this way, you're gonna see that I can reinforce those folds so that I have the one side of my house looking like so. Let's make sure that you guys have that. We're gonna take it again. This is horizontal. Now I have my vertical. I'm gonna take this side. I'm gonna line it up to the halfway point and crease. Line it up to the halfway point again. Crease. Turn it over. Oops. All right, I think I need to go back. Sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna line it up this way. Middle, crease, middle, and crease. Now we fold our peak to peak, and I'm gonna reinforce by folding this way, and this way, and it looks kind of almost like an envelope. So this side and this side, what's really cool about our design, you interlock so that when you put your house together, they will be able to stand up three-dimensionally. 
just like this. So, everybody see that? All right. I'm going to take this and put it to the side. Now, to do your roof. The roof is just basically a standard piece of paper, just like what we started with. We're going to take it and fold it again, hamburger style, corner, 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 make our crease. Now, we're going to also fold it again in half. Corner, corner, make our crease. When you open it up, you're just going to eyeball uh, just a little bit of a section right here. There's not really, if you want to get really precise, you can measure. It's not necessary, though. As long as you keep this square and this square, when you make your crease, this is going to be our roof. Ta-da! So... You can see, you can have your roof be decorated with what you want on shingles. It could be curvilinear, it could be straight, it could be blocks, it could be whatever you want. On the front of your house, maybe you want to have your windows, a door. If you want to add any three-dimensional details, when you're using your scissors, which hopefully my children didn't take them. Okay, good. You're gonna, I like to say, before you cut, draw. So I'm pretending this is my pencil. I'm gonna make a line here and a rectangle down this way, a rectangle down this way, so I know exactly where I wanna cut. I'm gonna take it this way and then snip it the other direction, this way snip it the other direction so that now when I take it I can fold it back and fold it back this way so this could be the front of my house the other side could be the back of the house but it's way easier to decorate when you have it flat as opposed to having your um, house built together so to further embellish you could make your house look realistic to your home. You could make it kind of like a fantasy home. You could make oval windows and window panes. Maybe you are in the window drawing uh, in your house. Maybe you want to make it symmetrical. So the same on both sides so that we have uniform on either side. Mrs. Stevenson loves her symmetry. You could have maybe curtains in your windows. Whatever you want to add is fine, but I recommend doing it flat before you lift it up. After you use your pencil, then you can add the magic of color with whatever you would like, crayon, color pencil, markers. When you finish, I can't wait to see your house. Please check in with me to share during my office hours. Um, please feel free to email and upload your creation with the help of mom and dad so that we can see your beautiful village come to life with all of our houses. From my house to yours. We'll see you later.